It's not a frame, it's a yeah, Japanese yeah. one right here. <clears throat> well, whoever's last, please close it. Yeah. Good. Right. He's almost back. He's back almost the the Astros up. lost. Please close the door. Please, bro. Everyone's being polite these hey, days. Whoever's last, please close the door. You got three. You were ready. Astros lost last night, so Sergio's pretty uh, upset Yeah, he's right upset now. already. I'm Italian. I don't watch baseball. He's not even, he's not even kicking it. He's just like, yo, fucking piss and shit. Horrible move. Horrible move today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, put a damper on things, didn't it? I'm not going to lie. I was Wait. pretty upset, too. Yeah. Just pretty upset. I already knew that was going to happen, though, so I was like... I prepared myself for for a loss, but I didn't prepare to get my ass beat like that. Like that was like a, that was a, that was an ass be, ass beating. I've been struggling for the last thirty seconds to open this. Nine to zero. Yeah. Oh God. Nine fucking points to zero. Back in the mix. I'm gonna give you guys a little ASMR. Sheesh. Nice. Three D's here. Shout out. Good one today. We got Marco, the Jack Italian on. <clears throat> yeah, the recently extra Jack Italian. All right, headphones are on. I'm all the way locked in now. Yeah, your boy's fucking locked in like a prison. Are we rolling? No, we're not rolling yet. No, There's we're just little. doing like some little. That's still intro, like right? Foreplay yeah. to the podcast. I mean, so we'll do five seconds and then we'll roll. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit more official, you know. Yeah, it's like. I can put it on the side over here. Yeah, 100%. And then I can just move myself. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like right here. Yeah. Sexy. As long as the mic is like close to. Right here? Chin like like chin, chin to mouth. mouth. Yeah. yeah Raise good. it a little bit. Raise it a little bit. Raisin. <coughs> good? Perfect. Thanks, Dad. That was so brought to you by Alani New. Alani Seltz. Sit back and relax. Enjoy the beach. I feel like I'm in the Bahamas after hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in for a good one, boys. Jesus Christ. First thing in the morning, we just hear Charlie moaning. I'm going to keep saying that until we get like a fucking pack, like a fat ass pack. Like, my dream is to have a, a fridge here that's just filled with like a bunch of like sponsored. Goods. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> well, dude, we need some Milani news, like the actual seltzers, like not the alcohols. Because a drunk Italian is not a good Italian. Oh, like the sparkling waters? Yeah. Yeah. They just dropped those. All right, boys, you ready? Yeah, let me just check if they got any. <clears throat> you guys are going to restock items, weed before lifting, before or after. Yeah, we don't give a fuck about those questions. Yeah, dude, I can suck your balls and you're going to give a fuck about yeah. that. So. <laughs> I would. All right. So in five seconds? <laughs> no, they're asking also, like, how did you guys grow your dude, following? Yeah, they're right. asking you, Shali, as well, and Big Baller Ant. Yeah, so like, hit 10K after I say IG. five, after I say five, once we get to one second, you got to go into like PR mode, you know? Okay. And then we're going to start the pod, all right? Yeah. All right, so five, four, three, two, one. All right, man. Welcome back. Episode two. And uh, we're accompanied by the one and only Jack the Italian Dan. Stallion. The Jacked Italian, that a.k.a. Rhymes. a.k.a. <laughs> Chef Guido, <laughs> a.k.a. The Fish Eater. Wow. We're bringing this up already. A.k.a. <laughs> AKA Mr. Marco Spaciano, man. Thank one of my good friends, me. probably my best friend in the world. For all the viewers, happy, happy, happy you're the first guest, man. For all the viewers that are watching this, have y'all ever seen his video of him eating goldfish? I don't think they have, dude. That was kind of like, you know, what, just to, just to kind of like break that. <laughs> yeah, ice. let's yeah, let's just let's, go ahead and get into let's it. Let's hit it off with that. I'm gonna enjoy my water. Okay, go ahead. take the show, brother. Wow. All right. So, as you guys know, going viral, going viral on TikTok is um something a lot of people try to do, and I wanted to do fitness, so I was like, what's the best way? To start fitness, drinking a goldfish at work at LA Fitness. 
So that's I was a great like, way. that's a great way to start fitness. Well, so my thought process, like I didn't realize like how dumb this thought process went. I was like, yo, like the more followers I have, the easier it's going to be to transition to fitness. So like, let me just do dumb shit. Like Steve will do it. So I'm sitting nice. at LA fitness. I'm friends with the manager at the time. And I showed him a video from high school when I was at a party I drank a goldfish and he was like, yo, can you do that right now? And I was like, bro, I'm at work. He was like, you get five minutes off, go to Petco across the street, pick up a goldfish and drink your it. manager. Yeah, we were homies. Like we made a bet. Yeah. And um, so I went there, I picked up the fish, came back and I started filming the TikTok and I shotgunned a monster with a fish in it. And then nice. I drank two more fish. Display how you did that on the... Okay. So Obviously you're not using monster, you're using 3D. 3D. Yeah, 3D. shout out 3D. Shout out 3D energy. So Today's I pretty much, you know, you energy. poke a little Christian hole. Christian energy you can feel. Go. So <laughs> poke a little hole in the bottom, you know, open it up big enough, drop the fish in, shock on it, chug. The fish went into the can. Yeah, and then I shot. So the fish, the fish, the the fish was already messed up in the 3D and like in Bro, the, the energy. Fish was cracked out. That yeah. shit swam down my the throat fish, like the, 100 miles an hour. Yeah, the fish was man. This I'm in no way like. How big was it? Wow. Oh, goldfish, like good inch and a half, maybe. Like yeah, a, we're like a big fish oil pill. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely getting hit up by Peta when this is done. Man, yeah. fuck. Hey, Peta. just Peta's not. Those Peta's those not are watching sponsoring. this video. This Knock was, Power does not endorse him doing that. He did that. On his own time, yeah. Prior, prior, yeah, prior this was to like, this was like this was like almost out. two full years ago. Yeah, he's came a long way. Two he's decades, came a long way. Yeah, honestly, it was it was two full years ago at this point. Um, but yes, yeah, so I was like, fuck it. Like, did you ever like? This might be a little bit too much. Did you ever like use the bathroom and it came out? No, 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 no. Oh, the bones and shit. Yeah, you take a shit and there's like little bones. No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Nice. <laughs> nice. You asked the question, man. You asked the question. Yeah, you you, you gotta expect that answer. You for it. <sighs> But yeah, so then the video blew up. Like I wasn't expecting it to blow up like this. Like I posted it probably. You like, went like ultra viral, right? Bro, I went like, like millions in seconds or minutes, right? Bro, like this is it. This was it. like right before TikTok. This was like when TikTok was still kind of growing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like when it was easier to make a viral video. Yeah, because like, like not that many people were on the app. Yeah, yeah. And like, bro, the first few videos, like the first few like comments and shit, they were like endorsing it. They were like, "Yo, this is funny as shit." Yeah. And then uh -huh. it hit like PETA TikTok, and they were like, "Yeah, that fish could have had a family." I'm like. Yeah, no, shut up. this fish ain't got no family. No offense but, to the um, fish, but you know. yeah, no offense to the Nemo. Good but. way to go out, you know. Like if I'm a fish, dude. If you're a goldfish, like what would you rather die? Like dude, that, the kid, the three, kid that didn't know how to feed you, you know. You know, like goldfish. families just give goldfish away to you kids. Ate, you ate three goldfish. It was three, yeah. Shotgun yeah, one, and then I chugged two one, more. One was in enough. the shaker cup. One was more than enough. But well, that's why, bro, dude. Triple the views. Triple the that fish. is fucking like. Like disgusting. Yeah, yeah it was that gross. was pretty. That was pretty. My crazy. stomach hurt pretty bad for a few hours. Yeah, you had fish swimming around. In but no, no, no. So I posted it like five <laughs> those fish. Oh, those God. fish were still alive when they made it to his stomach. Oh yeah, for sure. yeah. They singed my stomach acid. If they if but, they could um, survive the energy drink, they were surviving the the stomach acid for a little bit. Okay, so yes, yeah, so I posted it at five o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. It's like three a.m. now. I'm sitting in my bed and I'm just watching it gain millions of views. Yeah. By like every thirty minutes, it was up a million. Like. At one point, I think it was close to like 10 million Who was like the views. biggest, who was the biggest account that like commented on that post? Dude, I couldn't even tell you. Yeah. I, I don't know. But all I Addison know is Ray. that. Yeah. Addison, Addison Ray, Ray was like. This fine ass kid. Damn. Like fish. Yeah. She was hitting on me and shit in the comments. Yeah. Oh, like, uh, is that? Yep. <laughs> Addison Ray's a girl, man. What do you I mean? know, but uh, yeah. You were kind of insinuating that you think he's fine. Ah. Yeah. yeah pause oh, that. Oh, wow. Yeah. True. I forgot. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Damn. Just, yeah, yeah. Pause. But it. yeah, so for sure, um, for sure, pause that. So then I get hit up by Good the call. news. Mm. I get hit up by like ABC News, Florida, <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> "That was fucking wild." <laughs> this is my favorite part of the story. Oh, so, yeah. so they hit me up and they're like, "Yeah, we want to do an interview." <laughs> I'm like, "Fuck yeah, yo, let's run this interview." Yeah, uh, I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna get IG <laughs> followers from this shit. TikTok's gonna pop off. I, I can finally start fitness. Like, this was my in." I was like, "Bet, I'm gonna pull up." Bro. Yo, can we answer the clip of the no 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 this interview? shit does not need to be yeah, dude, yeah. yeah come on you got to right yeah here. man because it's so funny because you were just like you you legitimately like were laughing in the interview like you're on an interview with like Florida News and you're like haha yeah this is my like <laughs> yo bro, the guy who's recording you like they I were was trying like to 19, play him you know what's so funny is like they were trying to play him they were like and this kid thinks it's funny <laughs> <And> like, <laughs> no yeah they were like they were like something's fishy and I'm like bro <laughs> that's breeze. But yeah, so then, so then after the interview, like they interview me and then they, bro, what they didn't tell me is they started going to like LA fitness and trying to get interviews for people, like asking people how they felt. And this one bitch was like, this like fish could have been someone's pet. Like this kid's so messed up in the head. Like valid point I am. But I was just yeah. like, damn, fuck this bitch. 
the the news played me. Yeah, the so, news definitely played you on that one. So I text them after the interview, and I'm like, yo, like I don't think this is a good idea to go on the news. Yeah. And they're like, well, it's too late. And I'm like, bro, we recorded this <laughs> video 30 minutes ago. There's no way it's edited and like ready to go. So they aired it once, and it blew up on Facebook. I'm getting hate comments. <laughs> they like, aired it that quick? Bro, they aired it like an hour and a half later, like just to get it Bro, up. they had to, man. It was it was viral bro, news. Bro, all to. over Facebook, like old women are just fucking crying in the comment sections about PETA, telling them how I should get expelled from school. Jokes on you, I dropped out. But um, nice. But yeah, and then they start messaging my school like this kid needs to be expelled, like all that shit. And I'm like, well, <laughs> damn. For a goldfish so, show? Yeah, bro. So this like, is like there's, there's there's more important reasons to expel me, me, someone. The crazy thing is, is don't we eat fish? Yeah, we yeah, do. We do. We eat, Not I eat salmon all the time. So like, we don't eat live fish, but yeah, what a sushi? It's raw. I hate raw it's fish. raw, but it's not live though. What's, I think I said in the interview that sushi. What's the difference? Yeah, it's not. Of, it's not sushi. But what's <laughs> yo? <laughs> what's the difference of eating like a goldfish and a, a fish? Like, like there's yeah, no. Yeah, I know what, what, you would, mean. It, would it would have been would it have been acceptable if he killed the fish and then ate it? Yeah, like I, it's a good. That's a good. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say it's a good man. point, but it's a solid slippery point. slope. What do you mean? I'm not justifying what I did. Yeah, but um, yeah, I, I just don't think that they should have tried to expel you off of eating a goldfish. Well, but like, this what, is bro, bro this this is, is, that's pretty crazy. Fish on yeah, the goldfish. yeah, I don't get it. Like, I, I think know. it's it's more so because it's like a domesticated fish. Bro, what the uh, fuck? That shit don't do tricks. Like, well, I mean, it doesn't. No, you, but like, it, fin, like, bro, like the like like the the idea of like the goldfish is like it's a destiny. Bro, it was a feeder pet. fish, bro. Not nah, on the tank. It's no, like I feel feeder you. Feeder yeah. fish, like yeah, you be I mean, fed to other fish. I just have yeah. to not be a fish. But yeah, so this is oh, why you always really? gotta. If it was that, it's yeah, even yeah, it worse. says feeder yeah. fish. On it's it. even worse. Yeah, I mean, there's it's no even re- worse. That, like worse that they try to expel. Oh him. yeah, but it yeah. No so sense. this is why you always gotta like show love to your mom. So I text my mom I'm like, "Yo, mom, we got a problem. I'm on the fucking news." Yeah. She was like, "What do you mean?" I send her the clip, and she calls the news, and she was like, "He has text messages that he sent you that he didn't want this aired." Um, you had more than enough time to find another story. Like he doesn't, ha- you don't have his consent to post this. Like if you yeah. don't, if you air this one more time, we're gonna sue. You're gonna hear from our lawyers. Just some like white mom shit. Love you, mom. Yeah, respect. But um, but yeah, so they mom. stopped aired it. They stopped airing Shouts it. Shout out Liz one time, and she saved me. Yo, shout out to Liz. Shout out real. Liz. Shout out Liz. But yeah, she saved me. She saved my life, man. She saved yeah. you. <laughs> saved his life. I mean she that too, but <laughs> brave. But yeah, thank God. So like, what was the like? Did what, you lose your job though? Yeah, I did get fired. From, actually, no, I was supposed to get fired from LA Fitness. You just quit. But I don't know. I mean, I can't really say why I didn't get fired because it's like illegal. Yeah. But um, so the manager at the time who wasn't my homie didn't fire me. And then he got fired for credit card fraud. Shout out LA Fitness. Stealing credit card information. And like, like yeah. yeah. You know, it's funny. We just had on the last episode your stories about like the gym when you worked at. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Worked at. So, LA Fitness yeah. credit card fraud. Gym, gyms are pretty. Not that you did credit. You didn't do credit card <laughs> fraud, but like illegal. you didn't do credit card fraud, but like. Yeah, nah, he was like stealing credit card information and then like paying other accounts is like overdue balance to get commission. He was doing like hundreds a day. That's so he got uh, fired, but then they found out that I wasn't fired, and the guy was like, "Yo, like, don't pull up." Yeah. It was like a month later. He was like, "What are you still doing here?" Yeah. Yeah, but I also I worked three jobs at that time. So I worked at LA Fitness. I'd open in the mornings or close at night. I worked almost every single day that I could whenever I had could get a shift. And then, so probably like four to five days a week, I worked at LA yeah. Fitness. And then I also did valet like four days a week, four to five days a week. Yeah. So I would like do LA Fitness in the morning, valet at night, or valet in the afternoon, LA Fitness at night. And then on top of that, I also did um, personal training and buying and reselling like shoes and yeah. clothes from thrift stores and shit. Wait, so this is why you were in high school, right? No, this was while I was in college. I was a uh, oh, you ate the goldfish in I had, college. Yeah, it was my first semester sophomore wow. year of college. Okay. So two full years ago, Jeez. I would have been a yeah f- first semester senior right now. Nice. So like, when you first went viral, did you think like, oh shit, like this is? I good was like, for yo, me? I'm clouded. Like, this I was like, good? yo, I yeah. got fucking clout. Yeah. So this is off the first Jack the Italian TikTok. Right? No, no, no. This is from the like. Is this Marco, Marco underscore yeah, zero, Marco zero, 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 underscore yeah. oh, 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 oh. That's like my reselling page. So the TikTok, TikTok. So the TikTok got like banned shit. Nah, nah, no. Nah, they didn't ban it. The, t- the video oh, was still video? up. I took it down. I took the video down. Why'd you take it down? Oh, man, why did you take it? <laughs> because down? I was on the fucking news. My mom was like, my mom scared the shit out of me. She was like, that you could get expelled. Take this video down. We don't want this online. Uh, I mean, it yeah. is what it is. I do Your whatever I want. College definitely so. wasn't gonna expel you. I mean, 100. Yeah, they definitely weren't. There's way worse stuff. Yeah, exactly. Probably happening at your school. Yeah, like. So you said that you were working valet. <laughs> yeah, I worked um, valet four to five security. days a week. LA Fitness four to five days a week. Security was after LA Fitness. Okay. I started working security. That's like to take over LA Fitness. Yeah, and then you were like reselling and shit. I yeah, kind of want to get into reselling. that. What was like? 
What was like the first shoe or item that you resold? So I started. That was like actually like oh shit! Like I just resold something for money. You know what I mean? Okay, so I like went to school. Flip. I went to school in South Florida, FGCU, and a lot of the kids there uh, were like rich daddy money. Like yeah, South Florida with yachts and shit, and like they ain't got no drip. Yeah, it's vineyard vine shit. So they were seeing me like wearing like thrifty clothes, and they're like, "Yo, where'd you get that?" I'm like, "Yo, the thrift." And they're like, yo, I'll pay you for it. And that's like, it's, it like struck my mind. I was like, yo, I can fuck it. Nice. Upcharge the fuck out of this. I got this shirt for 50 cents. So I'd go to like family thrift center, Goodwill, Goodwill bins. Where yeah. you like sift through yeah, like yeah, yeah. dirty old rags my and shit with cum stains and shit on it. So I was like buying these clothes and my freshman dorm room was filled with clothes. Like I had to buy clothing racks, um, boxes at one point. I had my, I couldn't even sleep on my bed. I had so many clothes. I was sleeping on the couch in the living room, but I was just grinding to make money and like set up for my future. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you got, so you were, you were getting your clothes from the thrift throw prior to you. Like a, reselling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom always took me to the thrift store and shit. Yeah. When I was a kid none of my clothes were like, I had new clothes. Yeah. But like yeah. a majority came from like Goodwill. My mom was like, yo, like don't waste your money on, on, yeah. on shit you don't need. So do you think that's where like your style kind of came from? I mean, right now I'm just wearing all black. But well, like, I'm just saying in general, obviously. Like, I mean, but yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, shit. obviously we're not talking about right now, man. This is not, <laughs> bro. This when is I got like to, a crazy fight, like fit, you know. When I got to, uh, it was like pretty much when I hit high school. And I was able to <laughs> your buddy thought I was like clothes. complimenting his fit right now. Yeah, like, come on, he bro. was like, he was like, man, you're doing too much. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I just, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, bro, black. I'm not talking about your fit right now, man. I'm wearing all black, man. I mean, shit, you would think it's fire. Shit, <laughs> this is light. Where do you see my real shit? Yeah, yeah. This is like the epitome of light. This is like but, yo, uh, no effort at all. Nah, it's like fuck I started wearing it is starting like, to heat up more like vintage shit when my dad like when I could start wearing my dad's clothes from like the nineties and shit. Like when he moved to America, yeah, he was buying like all like the fucking Just discounted shit, ass yeah. shit that was like dope, like oversized Gap hoodies and shit yeah. that Kanye sells for four hundred dollars now, like. I was getting uh, they, free. They, they, they retail like eighty dollars. Nah, I'm talking reselling shit. Relax. Well, you said Kanye sells it. Yeah, like Kanye's I, not the one I, selling it. No reason to pick me apart. <laughs> but yeah, so then I started reselling, and in one semester, my first semester at college, I started reselling. On top of like other things besides clothes and shoes, I think I made like I profited like twelve grand in a semester. On top of like working other jobs, so I was just I was like big balling i was like fuck yeah bro i mean 12 grand like i'm not spending money on alcohol i'm not like i'm not a degenerate doing blow and shit so i wasn't spending my money just saving it and um just stacking the bread and then just pretty much grew from there like my this past year before i dropped out of school i went to the nike outlet with the money i had to pay rent and i had like two grand in my account like 1200 dollars had to go towards rent and food or at least 1300 so i went to the nike outlet spent like 1500 two grand something like that you have 25 days or you have 30 days to return uh, shoes to Nike, like with your receipt. So I pulled up. Um, I had to pay rent. I have 30 days to pay rent. It takes five days for that money to get charged back on your card. So whatever I didn't sell, return, get the money back, pay rent. And I pulled up, dropped like 1500 or two grand at the Nike outlet, started selling on StockX, Mercari, eBay, Goat. Bro, offer Hustler, up Facebook just marketplace. Everything. The people that bought those shoes are dumbasses, right? Yeah, they're fucking idiots. Uh, eh, not really. No, it, it, nah, because I mean, if you like, not nah, you if can't get all those for, shoes at like every retail. No, no, no. But so, you're an idiot I mean, if you're buying thousand dollar shoes and you can't afford it. Like, if that shit's gonna take one tenth of your bank account away, or, yeah. like, or half your bank account, don't buy that shit. Yeah. But I was just well, I was selling like anything, bro. I'd buy fucking girls' shoes, kids' shoes, anything that I could flip. And nine times out of ten, I was just like, I would walk in. Search the search the barcodes and shit on StockX. Yeah. See what the highest bid was. If it was above whatever I paid after taxes, even if I was making two three dollars, I would do it because you get more sales in StockX. Your your seller's percentage goes down that they take away from you. So you start at like nine and a half or ten percent, whatever it is, and you can go all the way down to eight. So like instead of them taking ten percent, you might take eight. And you make more and more and more, bro. In the one, and okay, so I started. What was that? August when I moved in. And then right before I moved here, I had sold like the rest of the shoes. And I think it was like a total of eight months or something. I made like 90 grand selling shoes. It was insane. Yeah. Just and what like, was your initial, what do you say overall investment? 14, 15 K. Yeah. Dude, I was getting, I got a pair of Jordan 12 obsidians. I remember this was like one of my first days. I have the video on my camera roll. The Antionis? 
<laughs> nah, those are the no, ones. No, no, the, the, the twelves. Uh, the twelves. The French, like oh, the, the ones. 12, they used yeah. Yeah, yeah, the French blue twelves yeah. and a pair of Zen green ones, <laughs> like the funny. ugly ass Zen green ones. That's what I actually kind of fuck with because they're wavy. But um, I call them the Santioni. Yeah, because Santioni. Yeah, we have an employee that wears them all the time. He used to wear them all the time. Oh no, no, not that one. But um, like not those shoes. But uh, I paid a hundred dollars total for the Jordan Twelve <clears throat> Obsidians and the Jordan One Zen Greens. And uh, bro, the Jordan Twelves were selling for like two twenty at that time. Zen Greens were selling for two hundred. Walked into the store, quadrupled my money in a day. That should set me off. So I started to slip the Nike workers Adderall because I have Adderall prescribed. Like 30 milligram of standard release, like the good shit, bro. That's just like crack on the You take your Adderall? No, nah, not anymore. Yeah, it made me shit a not. lot and it cracked me out. Not. It yeah. actually made me like a zombie. Like I was super depressed when I was taking Adderall. Like makes me like not who I am. But um, so I was selling, like not selling, but like using it as currency. Like, yo, take. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, man, this is probably not. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa, bro, like pass the statute selling, of selling, sell, Yeah, like selling Adderall. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I wasn't Rage. selling it. I wasn't selling it. I wasn't selling it. I was giving it in exchange for them holding it. Yeah. So it was like, bro, they have long ass hours. You know what I mean? Here's an Adderall. Take those <laughs> shoes. Leave yeah. them behind the counter. Yeah, knock a power by no he's, means. He's an, op, he's an op on himself. Yeah, he is. I don't he's give a shit. Like, oh, yeah. Like I, sold, I used to sell I drugs. drugs. Nah, nah, nah. I didn't, I didn't sell. I didn't sell. I didn't sell. But um, so they'd hold the shoes behind the counter. for money. Well, dude, it. you pull up to the Nike outlet, you return a pair of shoes. When someone else goes to buy those shoes, it's thirty percent off the back wall, and then fifteen or ten percent when you sign up. You get you twenty dollars for a birthday coupon, bro. I have a hundred emails with birthday coupons from Nike for twenty percent off. The the employees get an extra like thirty sixty five for every single day. No, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I have emails. Happy birthday! Here's twenty percent off. <laughs> and I would go and I would fucking just eat rail the outlet. Yeah. I would I would buy 30, 40 pairs of shoes at a time. Yeah, my brother, my brother, I think the max that they've bought is like 12 in one sitting. And I was like, Jesus. Yeah, dude, I would pull up. Shit. I'd have to walk to my car multiple times. Yeah. Hands filled with bags. My, two of my roommates had moved out. I started filling their rooms with clothes, with yeah. shoes and clothes just to resell. And then. What is one pair of shoes that like you resold that you wish you didn't? Chairman Bow Dunks. So I don't, a lot of people don't really know what the Chairman Bow Dunks are. They're like a fuzzy teal blue ice bottom dunk they're super sexy i love them i got them at plato's closet my sophomore year of high school and i had this massive crush on this girl i bought them for like 25 dollars or 50 dollars whatever it was at plato's i think it was 25 brand new with box i sold no or i sold them for 25 dollars and a supreme shirt went to the resale store in the uh in the mall sold the shirt and the shoes or sold the shirt um, that I got, so I had like ninety five dollars or some shit. They bought the Supreme shirt for seventy bucks, and I took this girl on a date. I regret. So you sold shoes. the shoes to take her on to a date. take her on a date. Wow, to <coughs> take her on a date so <coughs> that I could afford tricking. dinner. How much? Yeah, tricking for sure. How much are the shoes worth now, though? Four hundred dollars. Oh, yeah, you're, you're full. Yeah. Well, dude, at the time, dunks were dead, bro. Nobody wore yeah, dunks. I was the only one in high school wearing dunks. Yeah, yeah. that's how I used to be. And too. that was because you could thrift SBs them. and shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's because you get them at the thrift store for like ten dollars. Damn. But yeah. Walk us through the uh, the moment of you dropping out. I know the story. Yeah, I was gonna say. I know the real story, story too. Yeah. No, yeah. no. no. Well, oh, I'll tell them the real story. Yeah. <laughs> no, this, this All right. Story is the real story. <laughs> All right. He's so, tell story. It's just... so I started TikTok Thanksgiving of last year. So almost a full year. I posted my first TikTok on Thanksgiving, and I was like, "Yo, if y'all don't want to get fat on Thanksgiving, chew your food up and spit it out while your family's not looking." Video like popped off. Made a couple chef guidos. You know what I mean? How to lose weight, not be fat. This is the easy way to do it. Make your food taste good. Yeah, Chef I remember Guido. that Marco. The Marco that was like really like Guido. TikTok? Fuck. Fucking yeah. Guido. Yeah. When his hair was always down, yeah. he was wearing like the pit vipers and yeah. shit. Yeah. 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 It was wild. That's a different day. Yeah. But um, so then on my birthday, like Definitely. two weeks later, I had 10K. 10K on TikTok. I hit it on my birthday. I'm sitting alone at the bar. All my friends had went home for Christmas. Like plans for Miami got canceled. I was sad as shit. I opened TikTok. It's just blowing You're up. You really at a bar? I'm sitting at the bar on my 21st birthday. Just like alone. Nah, with like two friends. Oh. 
It was like not yeah, really. It was just like myself, at the bar, like, you know those memes. Like, just like a you, were, you, were, you were really trying to make a paint a movie for yourself. No, huh? <laughs> 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 was really trying to film. Yeah, he is trying to make this documentary. Nah, I was like, bro, I want to remember this day. And, like, yeah, yeah, on my birthday, he's like, I'm, I'm gonna never forget this day. Nah, it was actually people were hitting him up. Mad people were hitting him up to hang out. Like, yo, you want to hang out? Nah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ride this one out by myself. Nah, actually, actually, everyone's yeah. He has like 20 texts. Like, yo, let's link, bro. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I love you, brother. We care about you. Nah, nah. Actually, yo, shout. Shout out, shout like, out my man, all my friends left me. I was all alone. Nah. All the yeah, yeah. <laughs> to make it seem like a, no, no, no one cares. Bro, fuck you. He made like a fake fuck screenshot. You both. His fuck mom, you his both. mom sends him happy birthday on the next day. <laughs> nah, yeah. nah, nah. It was actually yo. Shout out my friend Luke Polak, bro. If you're watching this, I love you, man. He was the only one who like stayed back. Everyone else had to go home for like fucking Christmas and shit. And then he it's got pretty normal. Yeah. Bro, wait. Yeah, fuck Christmas, bro. He said it had to go but, back um, for Christmas. And I don't. Shit. I don't. Well, dude, yeah, it was like Christmas my birthday is the fourteenth. Like I was expecting like people to be at school. I was wrong. So my homie, yeah. my homie Luke, bro, he Jeez, gets he man. gets more drunk than me. Yo, on get my that own clip. Birthday. Zoom in on that right now, man. But you're leaking out. The yeah, mouth, go bro. back and just show that clip oh, zoomed man. in. But yeah, so Luke yeah, stayed back, and then he got too drunk on my birthday. I had to drive him home. I wasn't even drunk on my own 21st. But yeah, so I'm, I'm sitting at the bar. I'm hit 10K, and I'm like, fuck, like, this is like, this could go somewhere. This is my dream. Like, I've been grinding, making content for four years. Like, I'm finally getting my chance. Yeah. Two months later, bro, I have 700 fucking K on TikTok. This is at what point? Like, mid-February, end of February. Yeah, yeah. So we, so we linked so it's up. it's almost three months. Like the end so of we saw your account. January twenty eighth, I think. Yeah, I had like, or actually, maybe I had the just 26th. hit hundred k. I think on the twenty sixth is when I saw your account. Yeah, I just hit hundred k, and y'all reached out to me. Yeah, I remember and, um, me and Charlie both hit you up directly. Yeah, I was gonna wear that shirt today. Yeah, I yeah, I thought about it too, to. but I didn't because yeah. it would have been weird. I almost wore those pants too. It's fucking odd. Interesting, but um, you know, great mind think alike. But yeah, yeah so then I pull up, I pull up here, and Charlie's like, "Well, how did so like what I what I'm always curious about? So the way I found you is on TikTok, obviously." Mm -hmm. Someone tagged us very early because you put you're making like those like those viral TikToks that are or TikToks that are like uh gym brands that I'll wear. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, is gym like brand the only, means if you wear like all that bullshit that yeah. I would wear? That's like how yeah. There was like three. There was like three accounts or there's three like people that you posted. I think it was us, Dark Sports, somebody else. Yeah. How did you like find out about Anaka? So through Charlie or yeah yeah. So I'd been like I started lifting like pretty much the middle of 2016. I was fat. On, like no confidence and shit yeah. just broke my back so i was like fuck like it's time for me to get back in shape like yeah. i gotta i gotta do something and i found christian guzman on youtube started watching his shit found charlie through christian and like then i started watching charlie's videos all the time they're both like motivating me to just get in shape like watch the videos while i did cardio worked out learned a bunch of shit and um it kind of just grew from there yeah but um yeah, dude. Everyone kind of starts off with the gym brands that yeah. I like, like the. I think that's a what safe your gym way. Shoe says I think that's like you. a safe way to kind of like. It's see for you page, yeah, yeah. For you page, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, people like get to see your, your face, and then you yeah. develop your own personality from Facts. there. Facts. I mean, you know, I'm the, I'm the CEO of like starting that shit. Don't don't get it twisted, but um, <laughs> everyone following that footstep. Yeah, but um, but yeah. So I said that I would wear Dark Sport, Anaka Power, and then Domazetti's brand. Yeah, because Domazetti was also one of the people I loved when I was younger. I still do, but um. Yeah, and then I was roasting one of the Anaka models, and I was like, "Yeah, it was Zay. Yeah, it was Zay. Zay and I was like, in Colorado. Yeah, he was. He was like, shorts. 'Why the fuck are you? Well, we, we all were wearing shorts, but for some reason, like he was just going in on Zay. Yeah. And he's like, and you're wearing double Nike socks. Like, what the fuck? No, yeah, I was like, he was wearing the Anaka shorts and a parka in the in the snow, and I was like, yeah, Bro. that shoot was. I, I love was like, that. That's my favorite shoot of all time. But like some of the outfits, Zay, I think oh, Zay, uh, Zay from the competitor. Where were you roasting him on TikTok? Videos? Bro, yeah, yeah, I was like, in the video I was like, that this he tagged dude's dick is probably inside of him right yeah, now. He it's did. cold as shit. He was going, he was wearing going in shorts in the snow. Do you know him though. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the oh, homie. Okay. He's the one he commented on Unless the video. You didn't know him, you were nah, he 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 actually commented. Tagged the page and then that's how I found yeah. you. Oh, he commented okay. because I was like, "Holy shit!" Like this man. He was like, "Yo, that's cold. me." He's like, "Yo, that's me," and like tagged us. And I was yeah, like, oh, shit. it was crazy. But and um, so then I see your account and I'm like, "Oh man, this kid's dope." And I just started the Anaka TikTok account. Like literally, I started the Anaka TikTok account like two days prior yeah. to that, if not the day before. And then I'm I'm literally sitting in my entrepreneurship class and I get a DM from Shali and it's like, I actually no, I so I look on Instagram and Shali followed me and I was like, "Holy shit, what the fuck." I look on his story and it's my TikTok, yeah. just the section we're talking yeah, about Anaka. That. And I DM'd him and I was like, I remember word for word. I was like, I can't tell if I'm shaking because I just hit legs because I'm yeah. on your story. But like, what the hell yeah, is that, yeah. this? 
I can and actually he, probably scroll up and find that. Yeah. So then he DMs me back. He's like, yo, bro, I want to send you some stuff from Anaka. Like that video is hilarious. And I was like, <clears> at that point, I had never worked with the company. I had no idea how it worked. And I was like, nah, man, you're good. Like, it's okay. I was like, thank you. I, I, I didn't want him to like waste money on yeah. me. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't expecting it. And uh, he was like, nah, man, like I want to. Like, what are your sizes? So I was like, all right, bet. Like, thank you. So then the box comes. I open it, do a box opening, get like 80 or 90K on yeah, the box opening. Yeah, that was like a good video. And Shawley's like, fuck, like. Yo, if you want a code, man, I'll give you a code, code Italian. And I was like, all right, bet. Like, this is crazy. Three weeks later, I'm in Arizona. I'm like co- contemplating dropping out of school. Stop pulling up to class. I've been you in Arizona with, uh, for three Josh weeks. Josh at the time, right? Yeah, with Cousin Crypto, one of my best friends. I'm just like, yo, I'm practically like living in Arizona for at least three weeks at that point. And Ant's like, yo, you want to come to, uh, no. you want to come to Texas? Yeah, dude, literally, there's the video. Can't tell if I just the hit first the I'm shaking. Yeah, that's crazy. Wait, damn, that's insane. Yeah. It was January 20th this year. Damn, that was that's two crazy. days before my birthday. That's insane. That's but yeah, so it. then y'all flew me out, and I was supposed to be here for I was supposed to be here for two days. I had one pair of socks, bro. Yeah. One pair of socks. Because I thought that was, was foul. the weekend. That was disgusting. Bro, so I thought it was going to be just the weekend. The fact that you traveled with one pair of socks. No, brings. no. Whoa, whoa. He traveled let's, get to, it, let's don't get it twisted. He traveled <laughs> to Houston for the first time. <laughs> he was like, yo, I'm only here for Brought one, one pair of socks. And nah. wore, wore, he was here for like two weeks, right? Yeah, damn near. Whoa, whoa, he extend, whoa. You extended your trip. We well, extended your trip from like three time days after time to after like time. five days to six days. Yeah. Because we were just getting a lot of content with him. This is our first time ever doing this. And I remember, like, you ended up saying, like, 12 to 14 days. Yeah, you yeah, said, And the entire trip, he wore, like, one pair of white Nike socks. And they were yellow. When he first got here, they were white. When he left, he took them off for the first time, like, the day he left or the day before whoa, he left. Whoa, whoa, no, like, no, no, no. This is not true. This, this, is not true. this is not true. They were fucking yellow, no. stingy. This is, they were, like, this type of yellow. Yo, they were like y'all are going color. in on me. Y'all are going in on me. The socks came, they started this color, and they ended this color. It was so sick. These are not the facts. These are not the facts. Okay, so what happened was, I had packed socks and socks and underwear i was only supposed to be here for the weekend and was like yo don't bring clothes just bring a backpack no i didn't I'll, yes why you would did. i just why the fuck would i give me the Take a trip. Drop. don't bring clothes yeah yo <laughs> no, like yo said, like yo don't don't even worry about clothes bro i got you no you said bro you're gonna get to all influencers that drop. i fly out don't worry about clothes anymore guys I got yo you. Just come naked. these are not come, facts. yeah so i had as socks, long as you bring underwear, underwear you're chilling i had socks underwear on my bed a couple shirts to go out and a couple pairs of jeans you're like Ant's gonna love this Nah, because he said he was going to give me stuff. So I pulled up. Pause. I had socks on my That's, bed. This conversation never I had happened. socks. On, I found the text. I had socks on my bed, and I forgot them when I left. It was not two weeks. It was five days of wearing yeah, these socks. Definitely more than that. And Matt took oh, me to the went mall to, you went to the store. and bought me a new pair, a new pack of Nike socks. It was five days. But don't get it wrong. They did fucking smell like shit. He's sweating them, played basketball. Yeah, we them, played basketball a lot back everything. then, too. We were hooping for real, for real. Like over here in Alphaland, just yeah, I was hooping. dunking over Charlie. It was yeah, insane. That's a lie. But it was yeah, it, it was happen. an insane time. But anyways, how would you like? So what made you drop out? <laughs> yeah. So what like what oh, wow. really made you drop? Okay. Out? That's that, that we never got to that part. So Charlie scoops me from the airport. This is like I haven't been in school in like six weeks. I haven't pulled up to class. Been all online, whatever I could take online, whatever I couldn't stop pulling up, and uh, Charlie goes. So have you? Are you still in school? Like have you considered dropping out? And I told him, I was like, yeah, man, I've been thinking about dropping out. And he was like, are you going to like do this full time? And then there's a couple of things like being said. I told him like what I was doing, how much I was making like through income streams and shit. He was like, yeah, man, definitely drop out. Just full send this shit. <laughs> oh, I don't like what I remember the conversation. I mean, I, I did way. tell him to drop out, but I wasn't just like, bro, fuck school. Like I was just nah, like, nah, yeah. no, I was I, like, it was like when you explained how much money you were making, yeah. it made no sense for you to be in school. This was all in the first car ride on the way. I remember I had, yeah. like, I had my range, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, this was yeah, all in the, first, the white range. It was black then. Oh, was it the yeah. stormtrooper nah, yeah, yet? It was, it was black, black then. We were driving back from the airport and I was just like, yo, like he was telling me how much money he was making. And I was like, yo, like. If I could go back and if I were making the money that you were making yeah. at that time of my life, I would 100% drop out. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. At because that point, I mean, it's not just like fuck school. Though. Yeah, it's not. If, not if everyone should drop out. Like yeah. not everyone. Should no, drop yeah. Out. I mean, also like I knew from the day I went to college, I told my mom yeah, I'm gonna like, drop out. Shit wasn't worth I don't it. know what it's for, but I'm gonna drop out. Like this is just to pass time, find myself. But I'm gonna drop out. I wouldn't I say college. Them. College is college is definitely worth it. No, yeah, 100. Yeah. For for majority I think it of people, depends. It college really depends, is worth it. Though. But for people who think outside the box the way I do. And never really fit the fit the mold, like bro. From the eight, from since I was a little kid, 
like I have dyslexia, ADHD. School was never for me. I was always trying to find ways to make money, grind. Like I'd shovel. I agree. I, it would for someone like that, I can see. Like if you're gonna be a doctor, a fucking lawyer, like bro, it would be schools for you. In New Jersey, it snows like a lot, especially when I was a kid. Like it was snowing a lot, bro. I would fucking shovel snow all. Yeah, day. you're a hustler. Like you're, I would, you're, you're, pray, you're a hustler for sure. I would pray for a snowstorm. Yeah, you're a hustler. I would pray for it for people's grass to get long so I could cut their fucking grass, bro. Like I never, I was just anything I could do to make money, I would do it. Yeah, no, you're you're, you're a different breed when it comes to hustling for sure. I think I think it's like, it, it's your your parents being like first gen. Yeah, really puts a grind in you. Well, but dude, like everyone else, my dad most moved to America. That cloth. My dad moved to America with like less than five thousand dollars in euros. And didn't speak any English. Had yeah. to go back to college to get his architecture degree because he had in Italy. Didn't transfer over. He had to take math, English, science, all this shit over again while he didn't speak English. Like, it was just a different level of grind. Like, I would see my dad go to work 5, 6 a.m., <clears throat> not come home till 11 o'clock at night, sometimes 1 in the morning, staying for board meetings and shit. Like, but he would always find ways to make it to my soccer games, always try to find ways to, like, teach me how to play soccer. It was just a different level of grind. And it was just instilled in me from, like, a young age, like... You get out of this world what you put in. Like, if you're poor, I'm looking in the camera, I'm saying this to you. If you are poor, that is a personal choice because there are so many things that you can do yeah, to make that, money. Cut with, that out, man. No, it's the truth. No. It's a fact. <laughs> it's a fact. You can go mow someone's lawn for $30 and pay your groceries. Being poor is not a personal choice. I'm telling you, if you are trapped in the no. mindset, dude, no. I left my own person. I left my hometown because a majority of the people I hung out with were degenerates doing drugs I kind of and if i was around there I no but to that extent to just look in the camera and be like if you're poor it's a personal choice it's, if you are in this invalid. day and age if you are in this no, there's day and ways, age and our age ways for you to not there are like, there okay, are plenty poor, of ways for you to make money word, no it's yeah. all about it's all about your perspective and your grind you can bro i kind of i kind of i kind of see where yeah, it's i work three i understand where you're coming from but like that's not like not in order to make it that's a personal choice. No, my being personal no, no. Choice, being poor and being stuck in being poor. Being stuck and being poor. Being yes. Stuck, okay. Yeah. But being, being stuck poor. Be, yes. Yeah. If no, you're yeah, born okay. into poorness, you can't do anything about it. Yeah. Yes. It's fair. Thank fair. you. But if you are but like, stuck if, in if that, that's what I mean. If you're poor right now, you have to and understand all these the people like, that are watching all these yeah. sources out here that yes, like social media. I agree. Social media is not even a good. If you have the hustling aspect of cutting lawns and investing, taking a bank no, loan. there's definitely ways. McDonald's to make money. even agreed. But if you if you if you have too no, much, no, if you're really to trying to make yeah yeah yeah, yeah. too there's, much pride to work if at you're, McDonald's. If you're, if you're if you're broke, you should have no pride in, in like oh I can't work at McDonald's 100. Yeah, percent I think there's there's no bro, re, there's no excuse, pride, bro. There's no fuck excuse to be stuck in being poor. But I don't want to say if you're poor, it's a personal choice because people are born into just. I'm not talking poverty. about poverty. I'm not talking about being born into poverty. I'm not talking about these things. What I'm saying is, if you're saying if you age, have the opportunity and you're not, if no, you're not capitalizing the on opportunities the opportunities are there. Bro. That's what I'm saying. Everyone has the opportunity. Jobs on top of being an entrepreneur to be able to afford rent, pay for school, all these things. No, like, I agree that there's no excuse to be stuck in poorness, but being poor is not for everyone a personal choice all, all i'm saying is that there are plenty of opportunities and that you should be motivated to wake up every single day agree and grind because in the end bro there are fucking people who work at the post office making fourteen thousand dollars a year or whatever there's a guy who talks about it and or i think it was like forty thousand dollars a year was what his salary was like, pretty well. i was about to say they well this was this was a while 40. ago this was a while ago he's talking about it he's making like 40k a year and he would literally like pinch pennies in order to get by so that he could put money away into a savings fund every single month into a Roth IRA. And now he's a millionaire because he was able to afford $6,000 a year out of the Roth, out of his paycheck after taxes to put it into a Roth IRA. Now he's a millionaire because he, he knew if I struggle now in the long run, it will pay off. If you guys work and you put in the work and you struggle now, it will pay off. Yeah, no, I agree with everything you're saying. Besides, like, it was just the way you presented it was not. It was just not the wave. I mean, I'm just saying, like, sometimes <laughs> you gotta you gotta leave people in the dust in order to provide for yourself. That's a no, fact. I agree. I no, agree. I agree with everything you're saying. Besides the way that you just look at the cameras, like, if you're poor, <laughs> that's a personal choice. That's brazy. That's like a that's a meme, man. I'll, I'll, oh my god, <laughs> I'm like, not gonna like, lie. Yo, so, he looked. So the camera said, "If you're definitely gonna clip." Yeah, hundred percent. Go that was ahead. good. That was yeah. good. That was good. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, if you're poor, I pretty much stand by that. That's a personal choice. You I should run that, for president. No, that it's, should be it's, your, it's a, you should run for pre that. Should be your slogan. No, I'm asking America. America. I'm America. You America. If you're poor. No, I'm asking. You, I'm asking you a serious That's question. That's a personal choice. No, and I'm gonna ask you a serious question. You're Mexican, correct? My yeah. fellow citizens, if you're poor, it's a personal choice. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Yo, 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 yo. If you're struggling, <laughs> if you're struggling to pay your bills, 
You you can't find a job. <laughs> That's a personal choice. <laughs> okay, I'm, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask a serious question. Yo, yo, you're in debt. You're in debt. It's your fucking fault. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. To get serious, and, and. yo, I'm okay. serious. What's up? Be serious. serious. You're yeah. Mexican, correct? You're yeah. Mexican. Jesus. Hispanic. A lot of people. Hispanic. Quote unquote. This is about to be a shisha. Here. No, 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 I'm serious. No, no, no. Let me buckle up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell, yo, Serge, get the get the bleep bleep. Get that button ready. Get the bleep ready. Get the bleep ready. Yeah, get the bleep button ready. We might have to hit the screen with the. Yeah, we'll be back. Yeah, yeah. Yo, a purple screen. It's like it's just silence. It's like Anaka does not agree with anything. I'm trying to be serious. Anaka's not to be held accountable. These I'm trying to be serious. I'm trying to be serious. No, no, we're serious. We're serious. So you're Mexican, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people that quote unquote sneak across the border illegally. Right? Well, I'm just saying, <laughs> quote unquote. <laughs> Bro, what's going on right now? No, listen, listen to what I'm <laughs> saying. Okay, yeah, because the up? point is there. Illegal immigrants, yeah. Nine times out of ten, the illegal immigrants that are coming here from the country for a be- for yeah. another country for a better. That's not even just say Mexico, just in general. No, I'm just saying, just, Any country, yeah. just because Mexico is on the border yeah, 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 yeah. of Texas. Yeah, for sure. Nine times out of ten, they're taking the jobs that no one else wants to take. They're working harder than 99% of people and they're they're grinding grinding, every single day in order to make it because they knew if they stayed in the situation they were in, it wasn't going to work out. So they're trying to provide for their family. Yeah, dude, so, are you gonna go fucking no, but pick oranges no, and move my... states every fucking month to go pick a different fucking no, fruit? But what I'm saying no, you're is not, like, because they have a thing. different fucking mentality. Yeah, it's a different mentality. If there are jobs, there are so many jobs in this fucking country that nobody wants to work because they're lazy, privileged, and entitled. Yeah, no, the I the opportunity I agree. is there. I'm, yeah, that's, all, that's my point. What I'm saying is though, so what if you work that job and you're grinding and you're still considered poor? Is it isn't is it still no, you're a personal grinding. choice? You're grinding. I know that, but I'm saying is it still a personal choice? Dude, if a point? girl if a girl works at, if a girl works no, at McDonald's. No, just answer my question. It's yes or no. Just no, no, because yes no, no. this is this is the question. It's saying. a yes or no question. No, if a girl works at McDonald's and she gets paid minimum wage and then every single week she pays a hundred dollars for a mini petty. No, what if she's that's not a waste though? Of money. What if she's not? I'm not saying I'm I'm just telling because no, you like he's talking about he's talking about what, what like Yeah, what, what if you what do if all this grind so hard and do all this and you're still considered poor. But you're still considered poor, you're making like twenty eight thousand dollars a year. Is it I'm saying like you like Saying if you're poor is a personal choice is just incorrect. That's all I'm. I'm not I'm disagreeing. Saying, eventually, with everything your you're saying. grind yeah, will no, pay off. Yeah, no, it will. But if you if you can you can still grind right now and still be poor. Yeah, but long term, I don't think you will be. I know, I know because that. That's why. That's mindset. why what Charlie said is correct. Being stuck in being poor is a personal choice, but being poor is no longer a personal choice. You just have to add stuck. Being yeah. Stuck. Okay. Okay. Because just we'll just it. looking we'll at the it. camera we'll and saying <laughs> America. <laughs> I am running for president. My statement is, if you're poor, that's a personal choice. I mean, if y'all you're can stuck laugh. at home. No, nah, y'all can laugh, but I'm your saying. Your lights just went out. Every, a, a lot of people your are. Your fridge just stopped running. <laughs> Bro, you're all running. I'm saying you're is that a lot a of job, people. You're job, you hate it. A lot of people hours a week. are privileged and entitled. And you're still poor. And they don't put in the work. That's a person. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. People just expect to be handed things. Oh, facts. I don't like the way I feel. Someone needs to fix it. Fix it yourself. Facts, facts, facts. Fix facts, it yourself. Facts, facts. That's all I'm saying. Bro, no, I agree with you. Something no, I agree. Bro, my dad built my house by hand. He bought that shit, gutted the entire thing, and renovated the entire thing by hand. It took him two years to do by himself because he right. couldn't really afford to pay people to do it. That's a different level of grind. He'd go to work all day, come home and work on a house. When I was a baby, you know what I mean? It's a different level of grind. People aren't willing to do these types of things. They expect things to be handed to them. Right. I'm just saying, just hold yourself yeah. to a different standard. If you start acting and holding yourself to a different standard, everything will fall into line. And I, I, swear, agree I swear by that. If you I hold yourself to a different standard, you respect other people and you grind and you hustle... It, it doesn't matter. People see it. Yeah. They'll see no, it in that's the long facts. run. That's facts. That's Bro, facts. my math teacher used to make fun of me for being on my phone and not paying attention in class. Little did he know I was posting workout content on Instagram, Wave. editing videos so that I could post it Wave. onto IG, all that shit. Wave. He used, he used to um, say my grades out loud in class. What's his name? Nah, if I'm, if I'm not giving him no clout, bro. I, I just wanted to shout him out for being, you know. Nah, but like my teachers idiot. would make fun of me. I would get into like like verbal altercations with them, like clowning me about grades, like... Yeah. Saying shit out loud. And I had one teacher. Um, she helped me a lot. She like was the one of the reasons why I passed. Uh, I know this. Oh, uh, yeah. We know that teacher. We're not. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is like one of the reasons why I passed the majority of my classes. Like I had a yeah. few great teachers, but a lot of them don't understand that kids have learning disabilities. They don't understand that. Yeah. Not everyone learns the same. I think that's one problem. That's why I'll say another thing that was like on the school topic. The college isn't for everyone because like they're stuck in like the old way of learning of like 
like just the idea of grading a test and like yeah, I don't learning think that, a certain subject and, and, and testing everyone the same way. Bro, I not everyone's the stupid. same. If if a like, teacher, I, I don't like how everyone would be subject. like, yo, like we can't treat everyone the same because not everyone's the same. But then when it comes to school, like everyone <coughs> has to learn the same, learn the same topic, and it's like, it doesn't bro, make sense to me. If a teacher teaches one subject, yeah, who are you to tell me that I have to learn seven? If yeah. you can only well, you can one speci- subject, but you can specialize in one. All thing, I'm yeah. saying is. You're teaching one subject. It's kind of like bodybuilding. How do you expect like, me like, to manage I don't expect seven subjects at one time? I have ADHD and fucking dyslexia. Yeah. I could barely fucking read as a kid, and my parents thought it was because I was ESL. My yeah. dad stopped speaking Italian to me because I couldn't fucking read. Were you because, born here? Yeah, I was born here. Uh, but um, yeah. Yeah, I think I think the school system currently is broke, but I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be. People dude, are starting to learn that the school system is no longer as valuable has as to it be, used to be. There has to be a re- some kind of like some sort of like. There's going to be a revolution. Yeah, yeah there's going to sure. be a revolution in education because if not, people are going to stop like caring to go to college because Dude, there's so many ways to make there's money There's definitely going to be like educational reform because yeah. I think that the way of learning and teaching of today is def- it's going to have to change for it's one of the, It's one of the parts of like America that's lacking, I think. Right I, think that, I think that if you go to college for like STEM, which is like science, technology, yeah. whatever the fuck. Engineering the rest of the two letters, and math. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely go to college. But if you're going to college for like entrepreneurship or like marketing – you would learn so much more finding a mentor and following them around for four years and watch what they're doing while getting paid than going to college and spending yeah. two hundred thousand dollars on an education. The, the, the that only, you'll never I see that money. The only thing, the only thing there, worth it. the only thing there is that not everyone has opportunity. No, no, I'm, yeah, I'm not true. saying that everyone can't. I'm mm-hmm. not saying that everyone has to do this. Some I'm people saying, have to get it the way of like getting a degree. Yeah, and working no, I agree. Job. Job, yeah. I agree. And sometimes it's. I'm just more saying, valuable in the long run. Yeah, I'm. I'm not saying that a, a degree is always something great to fall back on, but unless you're in STEM, which is like yeah. science, technology, engineering, math, you can learn so much from finding a mentor. Real estate's a great agree, example. Yeah. You follow a realtor around, someone who flips properties, do other things, offer to work for free or very low wages, just enable to get by and learn. And that education that you learn on the spot. A majority of people graduate college and they they, they learn shit. they learn ninety percent of what they do on on the job. Yeah, they like graduate they with shit. that ten percent. I don't remember. I, don't remember I know so many kids, man, that don't know. I graduated yeah, in twenty sixteen with uh, business foundations, economics, and then health and nutrition. I don't remember anything. Wave. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm saying is that I think that people bro, people think Jeez. I'm a fucking idiot. People think I'm a fucking idiot. I'm not even kidding. People actually think I'm so dumb, but that's because I just like to have fun. My goal yeah. in life is to never grow up. Never grow up. I always yeah. want to have fun. I want everyone around me to have fun. I want everyone around me to have a stress-free life. And a majority of having a stress-free life is doing what you love. That I wake up a lot. every yeah. single day. Bro, I used to watch Charlie's YouTube videos for hours. Dreaming that I would be able to meet him, Christian, Max. Big baller aunt. Damazetti, Big baller aunt. You know what I mean? I was <laughs> dreaming about meeting these people. Yeah. And I see Charlie every single day. Yeah, it's pretty insane. You got to manifest yeah, that shit. You got to grind. You got to fucking work hard. All it takes is one opportunity. I, yeah, I believe bro. I agree with everything you're saying. Yeah, I think it's, it's inspirational. So right. Just for me being someone that's come up, I guess, prior to you coming up. Um, I will say that, like, I love I love that pe- there's people out there that are able to, like, like, spread that, I guess you could say, gospel to people and inspire people because there's someone that's listening to us. Whether yeah, we have 100%. 50 listeners to 100 listeners that are listening to this right now, to a thousand. They're, probably, they're probably inspired by what you just said. Yeah. But I also think there's a percentage of listeners that will hear, that'll hear this and it won't do anything for them. There's, there's a good so that's amount. why I'm just like... There's a good amount of There's always... There. And one thing I've learned is that... One, one thing I've learned is that probably one of the most important things I've learned is that you can't make someone do something that they don't yeah, want to do. Yeah, never. So, but I think more importantly, really it's like... It. You what you said, it. if it affects one person, yeah, that's it good. It's, one worth, person, it's worth it. 100%. If this reaches one person, then it actually <laughs> listens to it and they actually grind, it's worth it. There's going to be one person that listens to this and goes back home and they're just like, damn. damn. Like, well, that Marco was cool, said was facts. but like, I can't do it. Yeah. It's not in me. And it's not, and not, and not, not everything's for everyone. Yeah. yeah not everything's for everyone. Yeah, not everyone, not everyone is, if you're on the path, if you're listening right now and you're on the pathway of like your own success of, Graduating with with a four point oh GPA or no, three yeah, stay with college. If you're if you're graduating, if you have a job lined up for you, if you're on the on the path to make whatever you want to make that it's yeah. a comfortable life, keep for doing you, that. Yeah. yeah, everything everything is subjective to everyone's yeah. own life. But I think Marco's more so talking to the guy at 
that's similar to him in a, a similar situation yeah. to him has all the resources has the parents that love him the the yeah. support of his friends the circle like it's not an easy i yeah, feel like well, I, dude, I think first, especially my dad was not for you two yeah especially yeah. for you two guys obviously my dad didn't support entrepreneurs me y'all, y'all both come from first generation like you know immigrants yeah. well uh it's not an easy it's not I'm, a i'm actually gen x uh word so it's not, it's meant, not it's not like an like easy parents. it's not an easy path for either of you. Like immigrant parents. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Like Gen X. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's fucking. He doesn't even know what generation he's from. What's generation? What's Gen X? I don't yeah. fucking know. Uh, Gen X is like you. Was it Gen Z? Oh no, you're Gen Z. I, I think I'm, the, I think I'm a Gen X, and the generation before don't me is millennial. Don't classify me. Don't assume my fucking class. <laughs> your generation. I'm yeah. millennial, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. You're Gen, millennial. Y'all are Gen Zs. No, no, no. I'm X, and he's Z. Why are you X, bro? I'm born in '99, man. The no, fuck? All Zs. I'm born in '99. How old are you, Jacob? Uh, you're uh, then he's, he's with Gen us. Z. Yeah. No, we're X's, bro. We're not Z's. Okay, whatever the fuck. Z's is like the new kids that dance on TikTok. And okay. Shit. Whatever it is. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Back to what I was saying. This path obviously isn't easy. What is the? What do you think for you two was the hardest part on your path of like, let me break from the normal life or the normal the normal thing? Was it like the lack of support from well family friends or what? what, what My mom's always been supportive in everything I do. She she knew from a young age that I was like, quote unquote gifted, not meant to go to school. Like different type shit. Different, yeah. yeah, very different. The way I thought was just outside the box. Just nothing I ever thought was like what everyone else was thinking. I was always yeah. looking, how can I make money? How can I grind? What can I do this? So I don't have to go to school Yeah, Bro, I was going to go to culinary school and become a chef. Like I did not want to go. Chef Guido for Chef my dad, for real. I think, I think, I think you should do that. that at one point. Just for I would YouTube. love to, I want to open a restaurant for my dad. Yeah. He's a great chef. That's dope. My dad's like world-class chef, yeah. but I want to open a restaurant for him one day, but he was never supportive when it came to like, the fitness, so I want to drop out of college for fitness. Yeah. Like I would come home with like twelve thousand dollars. He didn't talk for like. Y'all didn't talk no, my for like dad didn't talk weeks, to me for right? three or months three when months? I dropped out of yeah. school. When I got arrested for weed, he didn't yeah. talk to me for three months either. I didn't hear a single word. I'd sit at the dinner table, and he wouldn't speak to me. He'd speak to my brother, speak to my mom, and ignore me. Damn, because he was disappointed. That yeah. the worst thing you could do is disappoint an, a European yeah. immigrant. Terrible. But no, he was not supportive when I told him, bro, I'd come home with $12,000 for my first semester of school, reselling shoes and clothes. He was like, I'll give you $12,000 to never do this again. Study in school. Pay attention. Stop skipping class. Yeah. I came back the next semester. 20. 20, $30,000. And he was like, I'll give you 20, $30,000. Shut the fuck up. Pay attention to class. I want you to get a degree. When I dropped out of college, he was so upset. I couldn't tell him. He didn't find out yeah, that I, I dropped out of that. college it was an accident, until right? two or three months after I did it. And it was because my mom, I love my mom, but she doesn't understand what the fuck a speakerphone is, bro. She yeah. puts me on speaker. She's like, I can't hear you. Yeah. Puts me on speaker. My dad's in st- downstairs in the basement. She was like, how are you feeling now? Bro, I was having nervous fucking breakdowns, putting my head through walls at school, how much I hated it. Having to stress over doing homeworks, getting deadlines done, shit I didn't understand. Bro, I failed college algebra twice. Yeah, I had to go to tutoring for three hours a week just yeah. to pass that class I to make my it, dad I failed happy. It twice too, just to make my parents happy. I pre- I failed a uh, pre cal. I never failed a class. I didn't even make it a pre cal test though. Mm-hmm. I made it to statistics, which I was actually good at. That's actually more than pre cal. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even take pre cal. Statistics. Like, statistics. I, luckily, in in high school, I took like a lot of like AP classes, so I went to college like with those basics already up. Dude, the, the only classes I ever got an A in were philosophy and micro and macroeconomics. Micro economics was my favorite class, and, and uh, sociology. It was, was easy. Fuck sociology, the, mic- was the micro dope. ones are the yeah. first level. Macro yeah, and yeah, micro, those are easy. Those yeah. are good. Well, well it's easy. just true. The shit, I was interested in. Yeah, it was interesting. It was interesting for sure. But sociology was pretty. Bro, dope what the too. fuck? Unless you're adding up numbers, I actually, for money, I actually I had a sociology class with Ed Oliver, Buffalo Bills player now. Oh, that's cool. Houston I didn't know legend, was, but okay. Yeah, shout out Ed. Shout out Ed. But yeah, I mean, people aren't going to support you. When you're on a journey, yeah. the way that we've come across, like, what about you, Shelly? What was the hardest part for your journey, yeah. as far as support uh, goes, or lack of support? <clears throat> definitely, like my dad not supporting me. My dad definitely. I mean, I don't know if he supports me till today. I'm not really in, I guess, good standing with him. But when I first started, I worked for him growing up. Yeah. So, um, I worked for him 18, six or 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I think I finally quit working for him, like when I was 22. And then when I quit working for him, same thing with you. I mean, he didn't talk to me for like. Probably what a led year. you to like? What do you What do you think was the final straw in like quitting? Uh, funny. Uh, I actually have a cool story. I was working with Christian at the time, like 2015. I was working with Christian. I would work. I was. I would work at the Alpha Lee Gym, like the old, the OG mm-hmm. Alpha Lee Gym, the first ever Alpha Lee Gym. I was working at the front desk, um, and then also fo- doing photo shoots for him, helping out with launches. Um, I've known Christian since like elementary, pretty much. 
but I was helping him out because, I mean, we just lived in the same area. I was helping him out on the side and then working for my dad eight to five every single day. And one day I remember Christian was just like, yo, and I was doing online coaching too. And I was making money with sponsorships and stuff like that mm -hmm. too. So I was making a good amount of money per month, maybe like three, four K a month. And I remember one day I was just like dropping Christian off. I, I had just got off like a long shift with my dad, working for my dad. And I went to the gym, worked out. Maybe I had to do something to where I had to drop Christian off back at his car or back at the Alphalete headquarters at the time, which was separated from Alphalete gym. And I remember I dropped him off and he looked at, he looked at me and he was like, yo, like, what are you doing tomorrow? I need you to, can you come back? He was like, yo, what are you doing tomorrow? Can you come chill at the warehouse? I kind of want to show you some things, try on some samples with you and just like talk about the future of Alphalete or something. And I was like, oh, I got to work for my dad. He was like, damn, you're still doing that? And I was like, yeah. He's like, how often do you work? I was like, every day, eight to five, yeah. every single morning. And he right. was just like, yo, like, I have, he was like, I have a challenge for you. I was like, what? He's like, I promise you if you quit working for your dad right now, this is 2015, I think. If you quit working for your dad now and you put like all your effort 100% into social media, coaching, sponsorships, um, I'll even give you a sponsorship for Alphalete. If you put 100% effort into that, you'll be making two times triple triple the amount that your dad's yeah. paying you and i literally just i was like at first i was like man yeah nah, there's tripping, no way yeah. he's tripping like yeah. my dad's gonna like eventually give me his company like type shit i know what i'm doing this is the way for me this is my path y'all yeah. understand but I, I remember he just got out the car he was like i promise you i promise you and at the time i think i was driving like a tahoe uh, uh a 2008 tahoe that like fucking broke down like a lot it broke down a lot it yeah. was a piece of shit man yeah, I wouldn't even talk about that car, but that, that car had like, it was literally a Tahoe, a full size Tahoe that had only two seats. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. yeah. It had the driver's seat, the passenger seat, and there was no seats behind me. That's crazy. It was wild. Like, yeah. I don't know where or they how. Sex I in the back of that thing. They took the seats out. <laughs> Make more I don't know. Yeah, definitely. It was a wild, sure. it was a wild vehicle, but I was driving it around and it, was, it just was it's ugly. Convertible. Broke down vehicle. And I remember he told me that got out the car, dropped him off. And I remember I was just driving home and I was just, I just kept thinking about it. And like that next day, I think I went to work for my dad and I literally just like, I think it was midday, like around lunchtime. I just went into my dad's office and I was just like, uh, I, I have to quit. Like, I think I found something else. Like this is like, you're not paying me enough. This isn't, <clears throat> this isn't what I want to do with my life. Yeah. I, I just, I have an opportunity where I can make more money. I showed him how much money I was making with coaching and asked him to match it. He was like, no, nah, I can't. And I was just, all right, well, I'm, I'm have to, I am have to, I have to quit. Yeah. I literally walked out, never came back. So were you living alone at this time or you weren't living at alone? At the time I was living with my mom. Yeah. And I remember when I quit in order for me to like, not feel like I was like a loser, you I forced myself to move out yeah. because I was just like, man, Let I, me, just, I have to prove like, I just quit yeah. my job and my mom was already kind of getting on to me for just living at home and not having a job. Yeah. So she was kind of upset about that. And she was just like, well, if, I mean, she kind of like pretty much said that, well, if you're going to make this thing your full time, then you have then to like actually prove to man. your dad yeah. that yeah. this is like, you made the right decision. So in my head, I processed it as getting my own apartment, showing him that I can afford, afford to live, afford yeah. my own living, whatever. And then going fucking balls to wall with like coaching. Yeah. So I remember like, I just went like crazy with the coaching, crazy with like, um, like posting about online coaching every single day, posting the sponsorships. And I think my first year of like actually doing social media by myself, I like full force. I made like, I think I did six figures. Yeah. And then after that, I was like, okay, so I have then, something, yeah, I have see? something that I can do. That's, that was it. that's what I'm saying. It's a different level of grind. You got to sacrifice. Yeah, for sure. And just to clarify, like, cause I know my dad's probably going to watch this. Like I do have to say you love him. He is no, he's by far the most supportive. Now he went from, he did a full 180. He went from no continue college and then he realized how much it meant to me and he would bro every single tiktok i post he likes and comments every single instagram post likes and comments on my stories he swipes up and like responds with emojis and shit because he knows it will help the algorithm do better mm -hmm. yeah. watches all my youtube videos on the fucking tv his phone his other phone yeah. his That's laptop dope. to get views like That's dope. he is the number one <clears throat> supportive now and he's, he's done a full 180 and I, I wish your dad. Well, yeah, you proved it. My dad doesn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, wish, I wish I could say the same. No, I wish that. <laughs> I wish that your dad realized nah. how many doors you've opened for other people. Yeah. Yeah. I would not be in the situation I'm in right now if it wasn't for Charlie. Yeah. I can tell 100%. you that wholeheartedly. If I if I worked with another company, yeah, I would feel like some nobody. But the way that Charlie makes his employees Facts. feel 
is completely different. I'm not an employee. I work with Shawley. And it's not. It's how everyone feels. Yeah. At the end of the day, he's boss man, but you'll never feel like you're anything less than a friend. Yeah. And I yeah. wish more companies had that opportunity. Yeah. I really Facts. do. Like I'm getting chills thinking about working for another company. I'd hate my life. Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably dive head first off a bridge. Yeah. I'd love a knock. Yeah. Yeah. I'll stand by that forever. Want, we don't want that, but yeah. No, I agree. That's Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Thank appreciate you for everything that. you do and every, yeah, all facts. the doors you. I think. I think one day my dad. I think will it'll come it'll around. come. It'll come. Yeah, around. but I mean, it'll I don't know. Around. I don't know when it'll be, but for me now that I've done this and, like you said, I feel like like I said earlier, like sharing these kind of stories can inspire some people. It may not inspire some people, but like if we're able to touch like the the, the lives and the hearts of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people. Yeah. I mean it's good. So Yeah, I think you both guys had some some good stories. Maybe someone out there is going through something and it's not even just fitness or entrepreneurship, but if you're going through something or a period and you feel like your parents don't support you or your friends and something, I yeah. think you guys are testaments of getting through it and you know, either you prove you prove them wrong and they turn around or you prove them wrong and they don't. But at the end of the day you did it for yourself. Well, and I, going back to what works. Marco said, like I don't know if you guys ever you guys really thought about this, but the the the, the, the slogan or the motto for a knock of power is we like we all possess the power to transcend. So like yeah. everyone is literally capable. And that's why we chose that slogan. Yeah. Cause when I started a knock it, it made me think about when I quit my dad and went full time with like fitness. Dude. It really made me think about that. So like, yeah, that's why me and Sam were like, you know what? Like, a knock of power. The power to transcend comes from within. We all possess the power to transcend. Whether 100%. it's in school, like you said, you're about to graduate, you're about to finish, like finishing school, like doing that, like you doing what you're doing with social media, you doing what you're doing with your social media, like Sergio, like everyone. We all possess the power to transcend. Like we can all break through, break free of the From, limits yeah. or the things or the, the mental limits or the me mental blocks that like we have society. on our life. Yeah. yeah, people saying we can't do this because we have to do this. Like no, like we all yeah. possess the power to be great, to transcend and be great. That's the main reason why we picked the knock of power yeah. slogan. Hundred percent. So like it's that's no why like it. at the end of the day, like I love the slogan for the company so much because you can relate it to every single aspect, aspect of, your of life. life. Yeah. Like, anyone in any any position that they're in in life like if you really believe you all you you do like you yeah. do hold the power to transcend and break through whatever you're going through 100 so it's all you you get in what you you get out of it what you put in i truly it. believe that as well i 100 bro when if I you put out TikTok, just even I putting out six tiktoks yeah. a day staying up till 1 a.m recording tiktoks yeah. and editing them in my bed well and then Literally, that first TikTok account is unmatched. Like, yeah, that was a that account was. Moment. I would wake up and be like plus five k, yeah. plus ten k. People following me, that commenting like, "Yeah, dude, you're, Yo, you're, you're motivating the fuck out of me." You're like, there's like major TikTokers that were like fucking with you, dude. Too. Like, I was you getting, weren't just like a, a a big account by randoms. Like, there's huge accounts following. Bro, me. that account is the reason why I do today what I do. Yeah. And I literally, my goal is to make content for people to laugh, people enjoy, yeah. it, but also motivate you. And I'm starting sneaker content. I'm starting starting investment content, starting things like pretty soon I want to be able to buy cars and put them on Turo and Airbnbs and just teach people how to make money with their money. If your money yeah. is not making you money, you're, <laughs> you're, you're missing out because yeah. the number one way to, I want to generate generational wealth. I yeah. want my kids to be set. I want my kids to be provided for. I want their kids to be provided for. 100%. I want to build something bigger than myself, and I want to teach people how to do it because there's more yeah. than enough to go around. And if you are dedicated enough and you grind, you can achieve almost anything you want. Yeah, I agree. I might not be six foot seven, but if I wear insoles, maybe I can be six four. Yeah. Isn't it crazy? I mean, well, you know, you could be six seven in the metaverse. Yeah, in the metaverse, I could be. It's crazy that we're in a position, uh, society's in a position now where like, if you really wanted to like back going, I mean, guess going back to what you said too, but like if you really wanted to make some money today, like look at the whole crypt pretty easy, the crypto yeah. thing that happened. Like, or if, if you put yeah. like, let's say you put a hundred dollars into like yeah. when crypto, when Do when Dogecoin first popped off, you put a hundred dollars yeah. into it. You're like a millionaire. You're fucking rich. Yeah. yeah. Like you literally didn't or do anything. And shit. Like yeah. <laughs> NFTs, crypto, stock market. Yeah. The whole Bed Bath and Beyond but thing dude, that happened. People yeah. are like, naive. People are too naive. Yeah. They're like, they're yeah. like, oh, this one's gonna do well. This one's gonna do well. Like you got to look into it and shit. But yeah, some you of it's do like, definitely have to look into. You have to look yeah. into it. But like, I'm, I'm speaking yeah. more so to the opportunity that, yeah, I'm saying. that, it, that it even young exists, kids that you can do it. Yeah, like young kids have the option now. Yeah, like a uh, 16 year old bro, can Josh scroll is, up. Josh, yeah, one of my best friends. Old. Josh is making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my best friends talked to him. Gives the other day crypto about advice, money. Yeah. and he's a he's a genius. I, I think he well he said it publicly, so I could say it here he said he he touched a million last month, a million. 
That's insane. Off of just crypto and, and NFTs well, and dude, stuff like he, that. And investments, saying, obviously. He's been talking about Bitcoin since before since before the bull man, run shout in out 2016. Of crypto, man. Like, we gotta he's get been on, on this shit forever. And people were like laughing at him. Yeah. What is this fucking blonde degenerate talking about? He's drunk on Twitter. What is he talking about? Yeah. And then he had one, someone vouch for him, Charlie Schwinn or whatever the guy's name is. He's like one of the first big names in, in crypto. And he's like, no, he did an internship with me. And jo- everything Josh says is ingenious yeah. he's like yeah bro i got into solana at under a dollar it's like 200 dollars. yeah he was preaching solana bro way before it became like a bro. legit crypto and now he that's what that's definitely Everything. why he touched a million nft bro he was putting solana. he was putting six figures into solana bro when it was low he would hit me he up. was preaching yeah i remember he told i made a little bit of money on solana because of him bro he would hit me up and be like yo and obviously not six like figures, he's like yo bro you should put money into nftb and i'm like what the fuck is NFTB? yeah dude, he goes yo make a legendary. tiktok about it i made a tiktok about it yeah and i unfortunately didn't get my like private acquisition that i was supposed yeah. to get for like the tiktok and dude I if remember. i would if i would have invested the 5k that you were allowed to invest i would have made a million dollars yeah i would got it fractions of a cent and i'm an idiot for not doing yeah it. There, now, there's insane now when i come up money, when i yeah. when i come across someone like i'm joining now i'm, I'm now joining like close friends and like Really, yeah, I, like I joined. Tuning, I yeah, joined last Chris night. Johnson. Yeah, I'm really tuning into that shit. Like, if I ever come up on something, now that I just have like the free capital to do so, if I ever come up on something that someone tells me to invest, invest, I'm just and they're gonna, respected. I'm yeah. Just, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. I, I like <laughs> I like stuff like that because yeah. like throughout day to day, like we, I don't typically have time to truly Zero like time. look in and invest. Like or like, yo, what am I investing in? So if it's a trusted source and I have to pay for that information, I'm fine. That's why you gotta just throw cousin it in there. crypto on Twitter. Yeah, Twitter cousin crypto. Advice. Yeah, he he laces Discord, me up. cousin he, crypto. He laces me up with that for sure. But for real. But there's 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 endless amounts of way to make money. Yeah, dude, it's insane. But I kind of wanted to like getting to the second half of the pod or yeah, closing absolutely, out. Absolutely. I kind of wanted to see like what are what are your goals for 2022 coming up? Now, obviously, you're talking about Turo a little bit, but it's more so personal goals and then I guess financial goals if you want to go into that. I I really want to hit 100k subs on YouTube. Yeah. By the end of 2022. What not are you just at right now? 30 something k, I don't yeah, know. For sure. I don't really check like that, yeah. but it's just like a just a milestone yeah. to prove to myself that like, yeah, I'm, I'm really, affecting I'm really, people's lives. Yeah. Like the number one thing I I repeat a lot, especially when people get to know me is that Yo, the number next to your name doesn't mean shit. It doesn't create value in your life. Zero. Yeah. Just because None. I have whatever 86 something K on fucking Instagram doesn't mean I'm worth 86,000 followers or, yeah. or YouTube is 30 something thousand followers. I'm worth 30 something thousand. Like that shit's fucking bullshit. Yeah. You are worth the same amount as the celebrity that you look up to. Everyone's worth what they're worth and you're all human. But, besides me. Yeah. yeah. Besides you, you're just next generation. But what I'm saying is it does the number next to your name doesn't mean anything. So yeah. by me saying hundred K on IG or hundred K on YouTube, that doesn't mean anything. It's just more to prove to myself that I'm affecting people's lives in a positive yeah. way. The number one thing that I always want to do is just inspire the next generation to be the best version of themselves. Yeah. A lot of kids these days are being softened up by the media and being softened up by just the fact that TikTok and all these social media things are so readily available and it's I feel this, I feel that. And it's yeah. like, no, bro, stop stop feeling like other people need to affect your lives. Stop dealing with the judgment. If you grind, you work for yourself and you understand like I'm gonna put in work every day so I can be the best version of myself. Inside, outside the gym, it doesn't matter if you work out, all these things. I just want to inspire people to work hard and grind and it will pay off. Like my goal in life is to never grow up. I'm serious. I want to be, I want to have fun my whole life. I want everyone around me to have fun. I want to teach people how to have fun and just get rich. Like, bro, my younger brother's 19 years old. Yeah, let's all get 20. rich and have fun, eh? Yeah, dude. All of us yeah, dude. There's enough to go around. There's oh, enough yeah, knowledge there's, to go around. There's definitely enough money to go around. Dude, not even just money, just knowledge. You can share. Dude, just because you're giving someone advice doesn't mean that you're going to lose anything from it. We need to stop with the whole... Oh, I'm going to lose money because I'm giving this person advice. Like, bro, shut up. Shut up, bro. Stop talking. Oh, they have 7,000 followers. I can't, I can't, I can't talk to them. Shut up, bro. That shit's dumb. But like I was saying, my brother's 19 years old, about to turn 20. He's in college, stressed out, doing engineering, switched his major, whatever, stressing out over these things. And it's just like the number one thing I want is to for people not to have that level of stress, not to have that level of anxiety, find ways to just get rid of those, those stresses in their lives. Like for me, it's working out for other, someone might be walking, someone might be fishing, but just do things that you enjoy 
every day. Do something that you enjoy that allows you to have like a little escape. All you really need is 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Just sit there like, bro, you do the Peloton, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's like a time where you can clear your head and just focus on whatever you want to do. Just people need things like that. And there's too much like too much stress going on and added stress from media and people putting pressures on you. Dude, at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is how you carry yourself. Don't give a fuck about how, what other people think of you. Because at the end of the day, there's 8 billion people. That's what I say all the time. It's like, bro, my first TikTok account got banned for fat shaming, quote unquote. Um, bro, Sheesh. people, Sheesh. if just because one person doesn't like you, Sheesh. don't give a shit about that. Don't care. Bro, there's 8 billion people on this planet. If I'm able to find 200K that love what I'm saying and appreciate the value that I'm trying to add to people's lives and teach them how to have fun, teach them how to make money, teach them how to become the best version of themselves. If I can find even 50 people, even 50 people yeah. that genuinely want to become something bigger than just themselves, I'm happy with that. It doesn't matter if 80, if 7 billion people hate your guts and a billion don't know who you are. If you have a small group of people that you can affect their lives, that's all I need is just to teach people how to have fun. So that's your biggest goal for 2022. Yeah. Just teach, teach teach people how to have fun. Teach people, teach people that it's not just opinion of other people. Yeah. Things are bigger than just yourself. So hundred K hundred K inspire people to be the best version of themselves. Get a fleet of cars on Turo and Airbnb Wave. where I can teach people how to make money yeah. by dude, you go rent a car or you go, you go lease a car for $500 a month. You list it on Turo, you get paid eighty dollars a day. It's rent twenty days a week or Jeez. twenty days a month. We have a, we have an employee that's doing that right yeah. now. Yeah, it's like great. He's, he's my little wave. guinea pig doing it. I can see how it works for him. And yeah, I can do it. I think, I think he's doing well. <laughs> I wanna, yeah, I want to get into that bag. He's doing, yeah. he's doing really well, I dude. By the time I'm twenty five, I want to have like forty supercars, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, McLarens, yeah. Bugattis, all I'll that. I'll just shit. drive them. Yeah, you you can drive them drive whenever them you want. But like. People rent that shit. Yeah, no, a Lamborghini Urus is like a grand a day yeah. to rent. If that shit's rented twenty days a month, yeah. that's twenty grand. Cash Your out. car payment's like six k. Cash out. That's fourteen thousand dollars that you gotta pay taxes on. Fuck the IRS, but yeah, let's say like I pay taxes 10, on. 12. Bro, you walk away with ten grand Jeez. every single month of passive income. Your car's paid You're off. Not even doing anything. You, you pay half your car off. You buy another one. Easy. You do it over and over Maybe. again. Cars, Airbnbs, bro. People, For people sure. make forty grand a month on an Airbnb. Yeah, and like yeah, that's my goal. I want to. No, I want I believe. I believe you can do it. And I also want to. I mean, the Anaka collab. Hopefully, yeah, that would be. Insane. You want to talk about that a little bit? Twenty twenty two. What are we looking at? Like February, January. Realistically, February. yeah, Fe January. February. February. I think February would probably be yeah. dope. Right, realistically, so, February for sure. Yeah. All right. So for everyone, I told it was going to be December. Hold up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we're running. Yeah, let's just say like you know ports and shit. But yeah, I just want to ports. Yeah. The 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 collab, I think that collab is gonna be the collab is sitting at the the L A ports. Yeah, it's on the way though. In the containers, trust. But yeah, we're gonna. What we're is gonna your what do what do you what like tell the people what are you you know what are you doing with the collab? So I wanna I wanna like short shirts, pay hats, tribute all that. to like being Italian. You know, it's kind of my brand. Yeah. So I have stuff that ties into that. But whatever Charlie really allows me to make, but hopefully. Do free or, range as long as it's not dildos on shorts and shit like yeah. that. Yeah, deal. Straight. I won't put a dildo on a short, please. Maybe on a shirt. Yeah. But um, but yeah, it won't be sold under a knocker. Handful of shirts, handful of shorts, yeah. some hoodies, some stringers, hats, maybe. Yeah. Are you, are you are you are you ready? Are you hyped? Excited? Dude, nervous? What? I'm what are we feeling about it? Hype. Yeah. I'm so hype. I want to be able to like look at this like bro steve cook gets collab with jim shark like yeah i'm fucking steve cook of you're a knocker power you're, pretty you're much gonna, you're gonna blow him out the water no cap yeah yeah but shout out steve though but like legend for real anaka we, to the we would love to have you on the pod yeah steve cook yeah <laughs> we got we can't gonna address you're gonna address what charlie just said on the pod right <laughs> we can't talk shit about people anymore. yeah like, steve said yeah yo, yeah just come on the pod steve, you know what i mean yeah steve. stevie boy <laughs> yo jim shark if you, yo if jim shark wants like a little logo right here you know a little logo placement hit me up i'd rather shoot myself email place. email anaka anaka power radio at gmail.com for inquiries i'd rather blow out my now that you remind me little jim shark he needs to sign this today I need to first, sign this? Yeah, you're the first person to sign That's it. That's fucking lit. We're definitely getting a Polaroid, too. Oh, bet. Yeah. But yeah, like... We don't have a Sharpie, do we? Like, Anaka makes shit... I'm pretty sure there's one here. Anaka makes shit that nobody else is producing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to continue to go that route. There's about to be a lot of people that copy us, though. Yeah, I mean, it happens. They, yeah, 100%. I mean... Hey, you know what the they say, bro? You can duplicate, but you can't recreate. Facts. 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 Yeah. Facts. You got anything else? 
Man, no. What are, you, what are your honestly. goals? For uh, yeah, I was going to ask. I mean, I'm pretty sure our goals align. So yeah, that's when you can speak on it. I want to kill it. Yeah, I think 2020. Every aspect. Yeah, I think 2021 was probably our biggest. Well, I mean, it is our biggest year. Every month, yeah. the biggest month. But I think for speaking on Anaka, just continue to just continue to grow. Supplements, Dude, power supplements, power performance, power performance your yeah. collab, just really hidden like more apparel, obviously more apparel, bro. Like, if we start the year shit. with the Jack Italian collab, I need to do insane shit the rest of the year yeah that's gonna set my standard. yeah this year's been pretty insane so it's just like next like, year I need, just has to be I need crazier. to set the standard for real yeah, yeah. but yeah i think yeah. personal goals obviously 100k on tiktok for the anaka page i doable. want our youtube channel to do well doable you know the podcast obviously we're, we're pretty we're pretty into it so i mean i actually i was thinking of another goal is i want to take on kids to mentor yeah where they have like free range to my phone number, FaceTime, so we get in touch, we're friends, and I can just motivate a smaller group of people who are really yeah. dedicated. You don't got to pay for shit. I was going to say, gonna charge you, you. Yeah. fuck no. Fuck no, I'm not going to charge them. But I'm what like, is the what, betting process? You're not just letting what is, anyone, what is right? their What is their $400 going to do for me? Not when much. I'm saying, like, what, are you, what, are, what are you like? You're not just letting anyone, right? So like, no, ooh, I just want to... What's, what's like the criteria wanna, so they can kind of... I'm not even sure. I'm not sure what they yeah. would be yet, but I want to find kids that are with very similar to me where they didn't like bro in high school i didn't really fit in like that yeah like there was like the quote-unquote popular guys that did like baseball and golf and got good grades yeah. and their their moms and dads were all friends with everyone fucking swingers and shit fucking each other's wives but um hmm. and then there was like the popular sure, sure. girls that like corresponded with them and then there was the other friend group that i was like closer with but a lot of them did acid yeah. and like fucking other drugs drank all the time I never did drugs in high school. I got arrested for weed, got in trouble. Like my dad beat my ass. Never really smoked after that. Um, drinking, I didn't really do that either. So I didn't really like fit in with those groups because I knew if I started hanging out with the one kid, like the one group, I'd probably start doing drugs. Bad idea. Yeah. If I started hanging out with the other kids, like I mean, I didn't really fit in with them. So I was kind of like grinding. I was the only one really taking the gym seriously like that. Maybe like one or two other kids tops. Yeah. Like in every single day I was posting on the Jack Italian IG. Like I have a second IG. It's like 5K. Yeah. Just like the people who really fuck with me. Like I'll post like funny meme shit. But like in the post archives of that account is like Real pictures grind. of fucking blueberries explaining why blueberries are good for your immune system. Yeah. And fucking so you're with, with the shits. You're types. with the shits, yeah. Bro, since the age of like 17, respect, man. I was posting on that account. It was called Marco Shreds. Yeah. Like physique updates and shit. Me at 180 pounds. Like me at 160. Like yeah. just the grind and the That's process. That's dope. Nah, for sure. But like, it's crazy looking back on that. I was looking back on it yesterday. I almost yeah. cried. It's like, I can't believe that I was like where you, Where you were. Yeah. Dude. Where you are now. It's insane. It's been, yeah. I mean, you've had insane growth from the moment I met you. I think now you're, you're slowly. Yeah. You're slowly coming into like maturing and, and, and knowing, okay, like this shit's for real. And, and, and well, dude, you always have to. You, so when I first up, started in I my eyes, like, literally, I've seen you from like <laughs> February 1st when you came down to what is it now? November 2nd, 3rd. It's You've insane. grown a lot. I'm proud of you. Well, man. dude, like when I first started, I had like no I had low self-esteem, low confidence. Like when I first started, I didn't know who I was, didn't know how to like, find my own. And Ant was one of the main people that was like, bro, you're the fucking jacked Italian, man. Yeah, there's a lot of times. Be that confident. There's a lot of times Look I had to tell you doing. that. what you're doing. Be yeah. confident. He had to text me when my account got banned. I'm sitting in my fucking bathroom taking a shit. I go to open TikTok. My account's banned. Yeah. I start bawling my eyes out. My dad's making a joke. He doesn't know what I'm, why I'm crying. My account's gone. I'm fucking, I've wiped my ass at this point. I'm bawling my eyes out crying yeah he's like trying to make a joke and i'm like dad shut the fuck up i'm crying like I, my account got banned i don't know what's going on like yeah. i appeal my account to get it back 15 minutes later they're like no, no. fuck yeah. you i email them and aunt i text aunt bro i lost my account they banned me they're in vegas partying now after one yeah, of the drops we were we were, uh, we were at we were, a, we were, republic we were, we were pre-gaming actually we were pre-gaming yeah, the, well, we're, yeah. yeah. We we're pre-gaming in the the hotel room Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And he yeah, was dude, like, it's like fucking remember, nine a.m. Yeah, bro. yeah, it was early. No, it was at night. It was at night. Nah, dude. It was nah. Maybe, we were at Wet Republic. Uh, maybe the fucking we were talking about it later that too. night, uh, but we were at Wet Republic. Okay. So in it happened morning. in the morning, and I text Aunt, "Yo, my account got banned." Instantly, I get a text back, "Man, you're bigger than that account. Don't worry about it. You'll bounce back." And then one of the texts that really made a lot to me was Shawley. He texts me, he's like, "Bro, you're way bigger than that account ever was, and don't worry about it." 
and like I was I I just knew that you were gonna gain that shit. Yeah, was, bro, I'm fucking. I don't even sitting think there. Yeah, I don't think there was even a second of like we were questioning. Dude, anything. I thought it was over. For it me. was weird because like yeah, and my idol is like, bro, you'll be fine. Don't sweat it. Yeah, you're and welcome. like from that moment on, dude, I started <laughs> posting that day. I was like, fuck it, yo, stop being yeah. sad. What was dope to see was uh, all the the fitness community. Was yeah, dude. The everyone posted your account. was like literally everyone dude, kids on I had fit never TikTok talked to was in my posting life. your shit. Yeah, it was pretty kids dope I had to see. Never spoken to were like, "Yo, go did follow you, Jack did and Johnny." You, got did you post his account? Ah, uh, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> dude. No, you're good. You gotta get out, Jesus, man. Jesus, <laughs> but fuck. but it was insane. Like big. <laughs> Big other big creators, were yeah. Like, Yo, Jack Town got banned. Yeah, this is insane. TikTok Which is insane is you were the us. biggest at the time, so it's like to them it could have been an opportunity to be like, oh, this kid's out. I'm they're next. definitely looking for clout. They were, but it was still dope that they posted. <laughs> they were, they were it, hoping you would repost them for sure. <laughs> no, well, yeah, like, I mean, yeah, but like, but it was, no, it is, it was the opportunity for them it to was just be like, yo, this like, kid's out of here. I'm up next. <laughs> Fuck him. Yeah, but they didn't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's dope that they didn't. But like, dude, it was the way that like the the gym bros is different. Like people are like, oh, like. Don't talk sh- like people like talk shit on like beginner lifters and shit. Like, bro, you're not really like gym bro like that. You know what I yeah. mean? But like the ones that are actually like with in the it, shits. they're with the shits, bro. They support each other like nah, crazy. Nah, they did. And that like, bro, dope. they just banded together, shouted out my IG, shouted out my my TikTok. Go follow the man's new TikTok. Yeah. Within like two days, I was at seventy k. Yeah, seventy. Right. Within yeah. like a week, I was at a hundred again. And then it, like TikTok shadow banned the fuck out of me. Yeah. Because they were that. like, yo, this kid's buying followers. He hasn't posted a video and he's got a hundred k. Like, what's yeah. going on? So he shadow banned me for a little bit and then. Bro, the other thing is like, like my first account was 50-50 guys and girls. Like I had a lot of girl followers. Yeah. I was shredded, good looking dude. You know what I mean? Like girls Man, were following that me just because I was good looking. I had a crazy jawline at that time. I was shredded. But now my account's 92% guys. Almost almost 100% of the guys that followed my OG account followed the second account. Respect. And I'm just happy that I'm affecting their lives to the point that they could follow go you. search the second account and follow it. Yeah. Shout out to uh, the kid I met in Vegas, Riker. Remember the FaceTime? Oh, yeah. Dude, uh, where he's sitting in fan. Vegas at the Justin Bieber concert. Fucking Riker Moore. FaceTime. Shout out it's Riker like Moore if you're watching this. It's like 1 a.m. in Texas. I got a yeah. FaceTime. I'm asleep. He's like, bro, Riker, this kid wants to meet you. And I was like, who? And he was Riker like, this kid, Moore. I'm here. He wants to meet you. Like, FaceTime. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, all right, bet. I start talking to him for like five minutes. I'm he half was asleep. freaking out. He's he like, like, bro, you changed my life. I just love the way you're that the I can I got to the gym. Yeah, that's why I was like, that's why I knew. Yeah, yeah. What? I tried to FaceTime you that same yeah, night. Yeah, I remember that. He was like, oh, man, I'm in bed. Yeah, Charlie's, no, like, sleeping oh. Charlie's like, nah, man, I got my... Yeah, got he's my like, bro, I'm in bed, I'm in like, bed. I'm just telling myself what's up. But you you FaceTime and shit, that was dope, obviously. But dude, like, him. and even the other thing is, like, so I recently started talking about the fact that I'm, like, doing TRT and shit, just hopped on a little bit of test, boost my, uh... Boost a little like my test, Dude, test I was levels? depressed. I was unmotivated. I was depressed. I just broke my wrist. I was like, yo, I'm going to fall off. Like, yeah. I'm not going to post anymore. I'm so upset. I'm so depressed. Like, I was crying. There were days I wouldn't get out of bed. I wouldn't pull up to the warehouse. Yeah. Like, yo, where are you at? I'm just like, yo, it's not a good day for me. Like, I can't. Yeah, I remember. It was weird for you to say that. And I was like, yeah, dude, I loved coming to the warehouse. And yeah. I was just so, so I felt like yeah. you were depressed from low T. Oh, yeah. Oh. Dude, like, I, I would travel. Did you test your T? Yeah, it was low. Oh. It was like mid 300s. But, um, but, dude, considering it was 780 in high school, yeah. mid 300s at 21. It's low. It's like why, low. Why did it drop by half? You know what I mean? So, but bro, I was shredded. I was traveling. I was eating whatever I wanted, not sleeping, binge eating, starving myself. Like I went from being the Yo-yo best I ever looked shit, yeah. to looking like a, like a fraction of what I was. And it was just all diet, injuries, lack of motivation. It's a lot of, just yeah. like, and dude, I honestly say like now that I've started, it's been almost, almost two months now. I feel amazing. I'm That's awesome, more man. confident. I'm less like I have so much motivation to inspire other people. And then when I made the YouTube video about it and I was just talking about how genuinely dark days were, yeah. like I would wake up so upset, so sad, like unmotivated. I had so many good things going on. So many DMS with like kids telling me how much it meant that I was posting content and nothing helped, bro. I was yeah. so sad. Like I was just fucking depressed. Yeah. And it was like a different level of like, Oh, I'm depressed. No, I was yeah, genuinely you were, you were down, fucking yeah. down. And I started, I felt so much better. I made a YouTube video about it and I had kids reaching out to me. Dude, You're thank you so much yeah. like for making a video about this. Thank you so much for being honest and open with us. I've been dealing with problems like this too. Dude, I had this one kid reach out to me. He was like, bro, I've been depressed for a year now. I had no idea what was going on. I was like, I felt awful. I wasn't eating. I wasn't sleeping. Nothing was working. I was crying. This kid poured his heart out to me in a DM. I FaceTimed him to talk to him. He went to go to this level tested and shit. He had to hop on TRT. He was like 25. 
and he was like literally like crying to me in the DMs about how like how much he related to what I was saying. Yeah. And that's why I'm always going to be open and honest with whatever I do. Yeah, I think There's it's no reason for me are. to hide shit. Cause I think why would like I hide some, it? Yeah. Some people might think like, oh, Marco's just macho, man. Like he doesn't go through shit. Yeah, dude. I had the same so I shit. I was like, yo, to, there's no I think reason. this episode, you've been pretty open. Yeah. Dude, I was like, yo, I'm the fucking jack to town. There's no reason yeah. for me to be depressed. Like crying's for girls. Like why the fuck am Type I crying? Shit. Yeah. It's very like hard immigrant household. Like women cry. Yeah. So Men was it hard cry. for you to accept like your emotions in the sense of like, yo, yeah, I'm dude, I was in denial. I was like, there's no way I'm fucking depressed. I'm not yeah. a fucking vagina. I'm not a pussy. Why the fuck am I crying? And I realized, I was like, bro, like that's just such a bad mentality to have. You can't, you can't live like that. If you're fucking genuinely, where I had no confidence, like my dick didn't fucking work. I would have, I had a girlfriend at the time, recently broke up. Like I did not want to have sex with her for like six months because I just didn't, I didn't want to take my shirt off. I, I didn't want her to touch me, um, bro. Like I couldn't, like it literally, like I had the worst relationship with food. It was you made terrible. it public. You're single. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 Mark goes out to play. But, He's uh, out to play. But nah, dude, it was just genuinely <laughs> like. Let's go. Spaziano. Let's go. Dude, I would single. like Marco. Big Meat Swinger is oh single. God. Single Marco. Wow. Braze. Damn. But, single um, Marco is But yeah, like, dude, she would roll over in bed and like try to like spoon and shit. She'd touch me and I'd start yeah. crying. Don't touch me. Jeez. Like, I'm, I can't take my shirt off. Like, bro, I was so fucking insecure. That's yeah, pretty dark, man. Just like, bro, dude, it was <laughs> terrible. Like, I wouldn't fucking eat. It yeah. was bad. And then I would stuff my face and binge eat uncontrollably. Like, dude, yeah. like, the number one thing, like, hormones control so much. Yeah, they do. Don't starve yourself, kids. Don't fucking, don't be concerned about what other people's opinions are. Don't starve yourself. Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, just what you put in is what you get out. If you're genuinely fucking upset, depressed, everything's fucking messed up, talk to someone. Don't, don't keep it in. The shit was keeping that shit in for months. It's unhealthy. Damn, everyone's on their phones. It's so crazy. Any more questions that we're going to ask? Charlie. Uh, we, I was How's it feel? Fine. I was to like, to a text. You know? No, we, have, we have a meeting in 15 minutes. That's yeah. why. Damn, fuck that meeting. This is more important. <laughs> oh, my God. I have to pee. Yeah. One thing I hate is meetings that are just like bladder is non-important. Exploding. You know? I'm to tie my dick in a knot. So that <laughs> Not that this meeting that... Is, <laughs> yes. Yo, but honestly, I, I do want to wrap up like professionally. That was a great... That was a great episode, obviously. Yeah, I feel like um, you shared a lot. You did share a lot. I think, I think this is definitely... I mean, you've only done what? One... Um, I don't want to say that, eh, but two that, podcasts. But okay, so two one podcasts. Was a little rough. Yeah, and I think this is definitely the best one. I mean, you're pretty open, honest with everything. Uh, obviously, I appreciate they, you getting that open with that us. No, 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 no. But, but it was just like this is definitely the best one. Uh, no offense to the other no, two. No, no, no. I think it's more of just I think me growing up and becoming yeah. more mature, especially recently. Like now that I'm feeling so much better and more confident, I can share these things. Yeah, because so you know it like, won't affect your it won't affect your confidence. Yeah, it won't affect like confidence wise. Yeah. Like, like bro. You told me like six months ago that I was going to tell people that like I couldn't get hard because I was so insecure and I didn't want to be touched by my own yeah. girlfriend. Like, <laughs> you've been yeah. you're crazy. I would but, not have said that. Yeah, 100%. I was so fucking insecure. Yeah. But, dude, like. No, I appreciate the honesty, man. Obviously, yeah, you're I our mean, first guest. I think our listeners appreciate it. Yeah. No cap. Hopefully. Yeah. Like I said, dude, I just want to inspire people the same yeah. way that you do and you do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Power to transcend, dude. You have the power. Everyone does. You eh? have it. Everyone you have does. the ability. Except if you're poor. <laughs> Yo. If you're poor, that's a personal wow. choice. If Dude, you're, you're actually a really good podcast host. The way you tie things back. If you're poor, <laughs> if you're so yo, crazy. if you're poor, I motivate people, and you're like, if you're nah, poor, man, yeah, yeah. If you're poor, yeah, if you're poor, unsubscribe. If you're poor, your house. No, if you're poor, house, if you're poor, and see this on the fucking recommended, subscribe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Make money. Yeah, you yeah, should end it by doing what you just took a picture. What you took a picture for your story. Yeah, and just like deep talk the mic. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Bit, yo, yo, great episode, <laughs> great episode, boys. Episode two is done. Thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing. We're gonna, yo, more guests, more uh, episodes on the way. Comment you know, who you want to see next. Yeah, comment yeah, who you want to see. Down below who you besides see. Christian, besides Max, because y'all blew the Instagram up. So I, I know we're gonna try to get them on. They did? Yeah, dude. Yeah. I asked last night who they want to see. It was like Sebum, Max, Christian. And then like everyone else, but it, like C Bum, Max, and Christian were top three. C Bum would be dope. Yeah, C Bum would be dope. I think we could do C Bum. Yeah, Yo, I, guys, I, I, honestly, like I was looking, it was like Hayden, C Bum. Uh, yeah, like those those are pretty. Those if are pretty. If you guys easy. made it this far into the podcast, follow the IG so that you yeah, know how to make episodes. A hundred percent. Yo, honestly, if you made it this far, like you, you will knock by radio. Yeah, comment something though. What they got? Oh comment? yeah, comment, sound, 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 comment, sound, comment a sound, horse emoji. Sound, sound. Yeah, comment. Yeah, comment the horse emoji. Yeah, if so you made it this far, comment the horse emoji, yeah. and I'll give you a ten dollar discount for the IG. Ten percent, ten percent. For the IG, we're just posting like clips and shit. Right? Uh, yeah. So like photos of like kind of like the layout that I sent you. So I have the layout. We should from post Josh. highlights. Like yeah, yeah highlights. Like highlights. Saying that if you highlights and then choice. like photos and shit. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a great one. Clickbait.
But yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Again, Marco, thank you so much for being the first guest, man. Love you, bro. That was a great episode. Love Disney World, Marfa. Yeah. It's going down. Yeah, so this will probably be what, posted 14th. Whoa, we'll Braze. <laughs> yo, bleep, yo, bleep button going crazy today, boys. Yo, we're out. 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 We're out.